hi welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mitsuko so thank you so much for watching this video so today is going to be a get ready with me i'm also going to be trying a couple new products which i have a blush a lip balm and an eyeshadow that i tried off camera but i want to try it again oh I'll, I'll let you know why <laughs> so let's get started this is the lovely palette that i got from patrick todd this is the major dimension eyeshadow palette number one you have the two cream shadows with the cover at the top you have the metallic and the shimmer and then at the bottom you have the matte shades so this is the top row this one is a cream and then all the others are the shimmers okay this is the second row you have the cream shade here and then all the other ones are matte this one has a tiny bit amount of shimmer in it so i brought you in a little bit closer so we can focus on the eyes prepped it already with concealer and setting powder so initially when i tried this palette it was off camera i was going out and i don't know i just wanted to try something new so i did and i was a little bit disappointed not in the quality the quality is always there you know like the shades are great they blend well it's just the colors i was expecting them to look a little bit different on my skin but i will show you what i mean when i initially applied this shade on my lids i thought it was going to be more of a dark reddish brown but for some reason they show up a little bit more like a red wine which is not what i wanted and then also this one looks a little bit purple brown if that makes sense and not like a dark brown just going to take some from the palette now you see how pigmented the shade is so I'll put some in my crease initially when I first tried this shade I put way too much too soon it's probably best to just do it like this. You start with a little bit and then you can add on more if you just want to build that color. But for me, this is enough. I just want to wash a bit on my lid and then just keep it going. You can definitely leave it like this or you can add a little bit of shimmer if you want. You know, you can do so much. I want to try this one next. And again, same thing last time when I applied it, I went with too much and it just didn't work out for me. Okay, you can definitely see it. I mean, these shades are so pigmented. I'll add more. Just a little bit of that in my crease, not too much. If you add too much of one versus the other, I mean, depending on the look you're doing, sometimes they look exactly the same, at least on my lids. And I think that's why the first time I tried this palette, I just didn't like it, so I wasn't impressed. This right now looks beautiful. I'm happy. Thinking of trying this one at the top, it has a little bit of shimmer. Let's see, I'll swatch it. Yeah, it's a little bit light. Let's see if we can smooth it out. It's like a hint of color, so it's not so bad. This one is calling my name. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, oh, love it. Now, the shimmers are always perfect. It's just the mattes, you know? I like it. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> Going to do the other eye and then continue with this look so i just wanted to share my thoughts and compare the two palettes so this is the number one are they similar no i don't think they're similar at all the mattes lean definitely towards the pink so even this one in the number two you see how reddish pink it is whereas this one in the first palette it's a lot darker these shades are completely different if you prefer browns neutrals go with the first one if you like pinks Go for the second which one do i prefer i am biased i prefer the second <laughs> the second is my the second is my favorite i don't know so the eyes are completely done i'm just going to do my base and then keep it moving i do have a little bit of fallout but you know for my foundation i'm going to use the patrick Dot cream foundation this is in the shade time three Now for this part, I'm just doing my usual, putting my concealer wherever I like to highlight. I'm just going to blend everything right away. 
Now to brighten my under eye because I love doing that, going to be using a new favorite which is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. This one is in the shade 21.5. Now I want to bronze but I don't want my face to be too warm so I'm going to use this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. I love it. This thing is so pigmented. Just be light-handed, okay? My concealer has been sitting on my face for a minute and I just want to refresh everything just to make sure I can blend it properly. I'm going to use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Let's see. I mean, you see why I love this concealer? To set my highlight, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent Honey. I'm adding a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade Deep. This is her airbrush bronzer. Just a tad, because this is super pigmented as well. So just make sure I don't lose everything I've done already for my bronzer. And then with the touch out, just to melt everything again. So I want to finish the eyes going back with this shade and then putting that on my bottom lash line. I want to put this shimmer on my bottom lash line as well, so I'm going to take some of it with the same brush and put that right in the middle. Time to try the Blush de Beauté from Gucci. I have it in the shade number 6. This is Warm Berry. This is the lovely blush. I'm super excited to try this. You can also use this blush on your eyes, but obviously I already have something on my eyes. I'll do it another time in another video. I'll show you what it looks like on the eyes. But for now, it's all about the cheeks. Let's see. Okay, she is pigmented. She is really pigmented parts of my cheekbones let's see wow this blush is really pretty i don't have anything similar to this shade in my collection but it is beautiful i'm stopping because if i keep going then <laughs> time for the lips i have the phantom volumizing glossy bond from hourglass it's in the shade trace this is what it looks like let's see Okay, I can see the shade on my lips, so I'm already happy. Very comfortable on the lips, creamy. It looks beautiful. Now you can definitely just keep it like this or you can add a little bit of lip liner, but I think this is beautiful. It also has a minty sensation. It's very subtle. It's not intense like the heat. This is comfortable and I really like it. I would love to get more shades in this. I'm super happy with everything I tried today. I'm glad that I tried again the eyeshadow palette because I was already disappointed and expecting the worst, but it worked out today. I mean, this eye look is beautiful. I do think the second is my favorite, but you know, just give me a couple of months and then I'll, I'll let you know what I think. Now the blush I think is beautiful. It looks really nice on my skin. It just works with everything I have and I'm super happy, no complaints. Now the lip balm, beautiful as well. I also wanna give you an update on a product that I tried in my last video, which is the Power Pocket Puff. This is from Beauty Blender. I find it very stiff and uncomfortable, like this part. Just when you blend the powder around, let's say this area of my under eye is just really uncomfortable. I don't find it smooth. It doesn't do a better job than the Beauty Blender. I do plan on trying other puffs, but this one from Beauty Blender didn't work out. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to let me know what you think down below. Have you tried any of these products? Let me know what you think. If you haven't done it already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.